Hello and welcome to advanced benefit number 21, filling in bald areas too. We're always asked, can the hair stranding by Invisiblend also fill in bald areas? And the answer is absolutely yes and in different ways. And remember, I've showed you in other videos, the microstrand, which is this here, the microstrand invention, which makes this all possible, this is made in different millimeter openings. So when you're filling in bald areas, there's a couple different ways to doing this. Now some people look at bald areas as being thin, but you can see the scalp. And some people look at bald areas as being completely bald like the palm of my hand. Either way, it's understandable that they're bald areas. If you have a thinning bald area, the microstrand the open microstrand, this here, that comes in different millimeter openings, it can be bridged over a balding area. And bridged over a balding area means if I have a balding area, let's see here in the center, I can attach the microstrand on one side and bridge over it and attach it on the other side. And even though I'm attaching on hair on one side to the other, it's bridging over and still filling in the balding area, okay? And you can fill in that bald area without any bond or glue by bridging over it, and it still fall, fills it in. And the reason why is because the microstrand is soft. Remember, it feels and moves like human hair. So it molds to your scalp as your hair is being blended through it. And remember, the microstrand, this is it before hair is added, and this is the microstrand after hair is added, okay? So either way, it can be bridged over a thinning or balding area. Now, secondly, when it comes to a complete bald area, like the palm of your hand, that can be done too by either bridging or by using what's called a microstrand M1, which I've showed this before, and that is this here, a microstrand M1. This is for a complete bald area. And you see how when I lay it against my skin, my chin, it's just completely transparent. That's what I have in the front. So if we look at my front hairline, I have zero hair there, bald like the palm of my hand. And the M1 is for that because the M1 is see-through. So upon contact of the scalp, it goes away, it disappears. And what do you see? You see nothing but single human hairs appearing to be growing directly out of the scalp. Now an M1 can be used for bridging, all right? Meaning you have hair on one side, you have hair on the other side, and the M1's just bridged across, and it just holds on by itself because the M1 is soft and it molds to your head and stays flat to your head because the M1 microstrand is soft, okay? So it will hold on by itself. Now for very large bald areas, then we do use something called a locking tape if the bald area, bald like the palm of my hand, is on the whole part of the head, a very large part of the head, then we use a locking tape. But a locking tape is safe if it's on a complete bald area. A locking tape or any kind of bond is not safe if it's on any area that has any amount of hair. So it's only used for a complete 100% bald area like the palm of my hand. I want to make that very, very clear. And it's only used on very large bald areas. And because the microstrand itself, the M1 or any microstrand, because it's soft and it molds to your head, it still has self hold to it. So when you do use locking tape on a complete bald area, use very little of it, okay? So I hope that made sense and I hope that was very helpful to you. So stay tuned for our next advanced benefit number 22, and that is gradual transformation. And you're gonna find this very interesting that doesn't exist anywhere else. And I'll see you soon.